Hello, welcome to this U.S. history course online. My name is Lonnie Glosson. I'll be your instructor. In this video, I'll try to give you an overview of what you're going to be learning and doing in this course. Now, the very first thing you need to do is print off a copy of the course syllabus from our course website. It will be accurate and detailed. If you use the syllabus that you might find on the general Kilgore page, it's more generic, so be sure you've got the correct syllabus. Also, uh, after you print the syllabus, read it carefully. Be sure you understand all the policies and guidelines in it, and that'll help you do well in the course. Now, as you begin the course, you're going to need a few things. First of all, you will need the course textbook. Your cover may or may not look exactly like this. In addition to the textbook, you will need access to the textbook company's online resources, which is called Launchpad. If you bought the textbook in our bookstore at the college, then you will have an access code which will allow you to register for Launchpad. If you bought the book secondhand, you will probably need to uh, purchase from the textbook company online. There is a link on our page the access code to get onto Launchpad. Launchpad will be required to complete uh, this course because a number of the activities are linked to that Launchpad page and you will need to be able to access it. Now the other thing that we'll have as a major resource each week, and this is really your home base, is the Blackboard page which if you're watching this video apparently you have found. The Blackboard page is where everything for this course will be linked. Even the things that are on Launchpad will be linked through the Blackboard page. So if you come to the Blackboard page each week, click on the little thing on the left-hand side of your column to open up the week's assignments and activities, everything for that week will be listed there. And just follow through uh, that list of things each week and you'll be in good shape. Now, to give you an overview for what most weeks are going to be like, usually you should start out the week, the first couple of days, doing your reading and looking over the online notes that I provide for you there. And then there will be three activities almost every time. The first activity, which you will have every week, is to do something called Learning Curve. Learning Curve is um, an activity connected to the textbook to help you enhance uh, what you get out of uh, reading the textbook. So you'll click on the link for Learning Curve after you've done your reading and it will give you a series of questions to help you kind of think a little deeper about what you've learned reading the textbook. And the way Learning Curve works is when you have answered enough questions to gain 400 points and questions start out most of them worth 25 points so it's not like you have to answer a lot of questions. 400 sounds like a lot. It's really not. Usually for most people it'll take 20 to 30 minutes to complete the learning curve assignment. But the more questions you answer correctly, the quicker you're finished. If you miss a question, uh, then you'll have to do another question. And uh, usually you get several ch chances at the same question. So if you miss the question, the point value for the question will be reduced, but you can still answer it for partial credit. There's also, for each question, going to be a link where you can click on it and go to the page that the answer in the textbook uh, will be found and you can read that page again. That doesn't cost you any points. You just can kind of reread. So get familiar with the Learning Curve tool. You will be using it every week. The assignment is uh, a completion assignment. So if you complete uh, the questions and you get your 400 points, then you will get a hundred for this assignment. If you do not complete it, then you'll get a zero. So it's either a hundred or a zero. So complete it every week, and that way you can pad your average in the gradebook. Now the second type of assignment that you will have many weeks will be some type of a document analysis. I will give you a link to some sort of document and after reading it, you'll either be given a few questions which you will answer or you'll be given a short quiz, it's a very short quiz, which uh, will ask you some key things about this document. Those two assignments together, learning curve and the document assignments, those are worth 15% of your overall grade. 
Now another type of weekly assignment, which is another 15% of your overall grade, is called the discussion forum. Almost every week we will have some question that I will give you and you will go to the discussion forum. You will post an initial answer by Thursday. You must post by Thursday or you will lose points. Giving me your opinion about whatever the topic is. After you've made your initial post, then you'll be able to see the answer that other students have posted. And I'll expect you to go back then and make some replies to other students, come back to your own question and reply to students who have made comments to you. You need to give me at least two comments, replies that you've made in addition to your initial post each week. And if you do more, and if you do very thoughtful, uh, fact-based sort of answers, then you'll get a pretty good grade. If you do the bare minimum or less than the minimum, you will not get a good grade. So put some effort into it. Um, and with the discussion forum, remember, even though it's an opinion, base it on facts. Know your stuff. Base your opinions on the facts that you're learning. And since this is an online discussion forum where you're typing your answers and people are reading them, be sure you use good grammar. Be sure you communicate clearly. Do not use abbreviations like you would if you were texting. This is a college course and people need to be able to fully understand what you're saying. And also don't forget, do not use sarcasm. When people are reading what you say, they don't know your tone. They don't know if you're joking. And it can be a real problem, especially on a controversial topic, if you make a sarcastic remark and then somebody reads it and they think you're being serious, that can cause a real problem. So communicate well, think through your answers, and you should do well on the discussion forums. And that's what you'll have most weeks. Some weeks I'll drop one of those three main assignments because we have a unit quiz, or later when we're doing the research paper I'll reduce the amount of homework e of, of assignments each week so you can focus on the research paper. So that's the way a typical week is going to be. Now the assignments will open on Monday morning and you'll have until the following Sunday night at midnight to complete them. So it's best to start early in the week. By midweek you're starting to make uh, complete your assignments and you finish up on the weekend. If you wait until the weekend to try to do all the work and then you run out of time, then you're going to end up with some zeros on some of your assignments. And I don't make extensions in time simply because you ran out of time because you procrastinated. Please be sure you take it seriously from the beginning and get started early each week completing assignments. And on the same note, be sure your computer is working. Uh, this is an online course you must complete the assignments online therefore you have to have a functioning computer. If you run into technical problems oftentimes if you have pop-ups blocked or s some other setting in your browser that you might need to change uh, that might help you access uh, the sites a little better but if you run into problems with that you can contact the Kilgore College help desk and the number is on our webpage and they can talk you through just about any fix that you need to make on a computer. Um, Google Chrome seems to be the best browser to use for most of these systems, but other ones can work, but you've just got to be you're sure your systems are right. Uh, and if your computer crashes on you at the last minute, that won't get you an extension don't wait till the last minute. Get things done early and that way if you run into a computer problem earlier in the week then you know you've got to fix it. You've got time to go to someone else's house and use their computer or something else and get the computer fixed but don't wait till Sunday to do everything. Sunday preferably is just a day that you can relax, do a little studying but all your assignments are already completed. I know some of you are going to be doing assignments right up to midnight on Sunday night but Try not to do that. That's, that's a bad habit to get into and it may result in some zeros for some of you. All right, the other types of assignments that are parts of your grade average that you're going to have, there will be a research paper worth 10% of your grade. We will start it about halfway through the course once we've completed the midterm and I'll take you through it step by step, reduce the other assignments so you can really focus on it. 
it's it won't be bad so just don't worry about it we'll get through the research paper um, unit quizzes there'll be five units we cover and for three of those units unit one two and four we will have an online quiz it'll be somewhere between 30 to 50 questions about what you've been learning and it is open notes it's on the computer therefore you can have your you're in your classroom or you're at home and you can have access to your textbook so have your notes prepared know your stuff go through your notes read the material and get a high grade on these unit uh, quizzes they're worth 20 percent of your overall grade and there's no reason with them being open notes you shouldn't have high scores on them so make sure you're prepared in advance now it's not ethical for you to be budding up with somebody else but there's no way I can supervise that either but you are expected to do your own work but it is open notes now for the midterm and the final those will be proctored they will not be open notes you will need to know your stuff the midterm will cover units one through three and the final exam will be comprehensive and cover everything a few things that will be resources to help you out as we go along as I said each week you'll have your readings in your textbook the learning curve will help you go a little deeper there you also have the online set of notes that I post for you each week. Those will hit the big picture sort of ideas that we're covering for the week. And if there's some things that you couldn't find in your textbook, they will be in the online notes. And as you're preparing for tests, that will really help you out. Now, the other thing that I have for you that's going to be a big help is the study guide. Each unit, the first week of that unit, I will post a study guide for you, which has the main terms and a few questions that you'll need to focus in on as you go through this unit. So as you're doing your reading, have the study guide next to you and look for the answers to those terms and questions. If you didn't find it in your textbook, look for those things in the online notes. If you know the study guide, you're going to do well on all of the tests that we have. All right, and let's see, in addition to that, if you can't find it in the text or locate it in the notes, there's always the internet. You can use it to find some answers. Just be careful where you're getting the answers from. You've got the library. And you can email me if you have questions. So please be sure you email me if you have any questions. Uh, all emails should be through the Kilgore College email that you have set up. Uh, there are instructions on the Blackboard page on how to set up your email for Kilgore College if you haven't done so already. And that's the only format I'm allowed to communicate with you uh, as far as email goes. You can't send stuff to me through your personal email. It needs to all communication goes through Kilgore College's emails. And that means also you need to check your emails regularly because if I need to communicate to you or um, you know, warn you, hey, you forgot to do this, uh, or your grade's getting lower, whatever, I send it to your email, and if you're not checking that email, then I can't get that message to you. So please be sure you do check your emails regularly. And as I said, don't procrastinate about getting your work done, and also don't procrastinate about putting effort into the course. I do not give extra credit. If you get down to the end of the course, don't come to me and say, hey, I need some extra credit if I'm going to pass. I don't do that. What I want you to do is work along the way, put in effort along the way. And if you do that, you will not need extra credit. But do communicate with me if you have any difficulties, if you run into problems along the way during the course, you run into some kind of emergencies that keep you from getting work done. Uh, if you communicate with me and let me know what's going on, I will try to help you out and help you succeed. Because ultimately, my goal is for you to pass this course and get the credit that you want to get. That's my job, to help you learn and to help you get credit. So, I'm rooting for you. I'm here to help you. But as much as I want to help you, especially in an online course, the number one person who is going to be your most important instructor is you. You're the only one that's there to make sure that you log on to the computer, start doing your assignments, do your studying. I can tell you through videos, but I can't make you do it. So be sure you really put some effort in. 
Hopefully in this course you're going to learn some things you didn't already know about U.S. history and uh, be able to really go a little bit deeper in your understanding of the country you live in. I look forward to working with you this semester. I hope you enjoy this course. I hope you get a lot out of it. Please let me know if I can help you in any way throughout the course. And let's have a good semester.